what's up guys Aldona Zero okay I came into this episode expecting nothing it's an original work so there's no manga light novels no game adaptations none of that and I'm gonna tell you straight up this looks very promising I have a feeling this could be one of the best animes for the spring season you know the first episode wasn't as on par with Tokyo Ghoul but the plot is definitely like up there the plot looks very intense very interesting because I watched the episode I'm pretty sure if I rewatch the episode again I won't be as confused but I don't got time for that but you know there's some things I didn't really get but as far as I know the plot is intense so pretty much the premise of the first episode is that there's two sets of humans one that live up in space in this ship which I supposedly live in Mars that were founded in Mars and these other humans that live on earth which would be like us like normal people and I guess that race these two races hate each other they wanna the race from space wants to conquer the race from earth the race from space <laughs> um, the princess there they actually they seem like they have some sort of power maybe in some way because you know in the end when the princess supposedly died when she got shot by that missile they didn't seem as worried you know honestly if that was their queen their princess I'd be shitting bricks, you know, going crazy, they just killed her. But they don't seem as worried, they just said, you know, they declared an attack, so we're gonna go there and attack them. So I'm pretty sure she's still alive, so they probably had this, like, maybe superpower, maybe... And they say their descendants are from Earth, so they have a connection somehow. And the princess was sent there to, you know, make peace with them, to talk to them, to negotiate a contract. The race from space <laughs> saw that, and it started coming down, and we see this got pretty intense, too, you know, when the ship hit it destroyed like a large mass of earth so yeah they're in it to kill you know these guys are gonna probably try wiping out the whole existence of humans and they're gonna start living there and the funny thing is you know um the superior race that's in space um they're actually battling against each other they they induce that when they start coming down to earth because you know right now the superior race doesn't give a shit about humans they don't even see them as dangerous but on the other hand they're each trying to battle each other to be like the king of the earth. So that's going to also be a huge part. You know, they're going to probably fight each other. And they're going to underestimate humans that we've seen with a lot of anime. You know, when you underestimate, when you underestimate humans, yeah, that's when you fucking die. <laughs> but it looks like the humans were prepared for this. Because we see that um, children, not children, but like teenagers and adults are training in these Gundams, in these robots, to probably to fight these guys. I guess the adults here, you know, they know the true nature of these um humans that are in space and they're lying to these kids also they're lying to them they're saying you know we're just doing this for just in case it's gonna happen they're just saying you know there's a slim chance this will happen but the chances aren't actually very great and now i guess it's up to them to go into these gun dumps and like start fighting them is it just me or is the the lieutenant um makito i think that was his name he has the same voice actor as zoro from one piece so if you're wondering if he sounded like someone familiar, that's why. That's what I'm looking forward to right now, the, the, the plot. And, you know, I'm not a fan of the mecha genre, I told you that before. But honestly, you know, with this plot, with how it's setting up everything, I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't care, because this looks very promising. I actually want to see this, like, right now, the next episode. But, you know, for the first episode, it was great. It was very good. And, yeah, man, some of these characters, there's a lot of characters, too. So I didn't really catch everybody's name. They introduced us to like 20 characters tops. We just see like, they just show us a glimpse of their like nature. For example, I guess the, my lord, they call him my lord. He's a scumbag, you know. This guy probably has like the most hate towards humans. We see this guy called Slain, you know, he's in love with the princess. Looks like Slain was a human. I think he is a human, you know, because my lord bashed him with a fucking stick and called him scum. He called him a terrain. And that's what the superior race calls them humans. A terrain. Terrain. Something like that. So definitely this guy slain is a human. He's going to play a big, huge part with this. He admits to the princess saving him and his, um, his father. So he was definitely a human on Earth. But he, somehow he ended up over there. Then on Earth we see these kids training on these Gundams. You know, they're preparing for this. And yeah, it feels like it kind of has a little Evangelion, you know, tone to it. I kind of see some Evangelion stuff right here. But the character, except for the character, you know, this, unlike Shinji, you know, this character is actually, you know, it looks like he would man up. But, you know, other than that, man, great episode. I am really enjoying this episode. And hopefully it keeps this up, man. I really do. I hope it doesn't go down hell. Because if so, I'm going to be mad, but it does have problems. But, yes, this episode is very promising, and I can't wait for the next episode, guys. Leave me your thoughts below. Did you guys see the episode yet? Are you guys hyped? And, yeah, guys, take care, guys. Be safe. Bye.